Welcome to Vegas Live, I'm Nina and your host and we have an incredible show coming up. This is actually a new show for Vegas and it's absolutely amazing. We are going to bring Vegas back to life again with the old, the new and also in the middle. We have a fabulous guest with us today and I'm going to introduce you to Robert Katz. He's absolutely amazing. How are you Roger? I'm very good, thank you. I'm glad to be here, Nina. Isn't it amazing? I mean, you know, we're bringing, trying to get this Vegas all back again. Because Vegas, you know, I've only lived in Vegas for three years. And I've noticed that a lot of the people in the music industry have kind of sort of, they're in the shadows. We don't really see them too much. And, no, you don't. And Vegas is the place for music. This is where it is. I live in Los Angeles. There's more music here than there is in Los Angeles. Well, because Vegas is known for music. It's known for its comedy. It's known for its, its singers. I mean, sure, Frank Sinatra sure. and all the whole group. All the big shows that used to be here. Used to be here. The Rat Pack. <laughs> the Rat Pack. Oh, that was amazing. Those, yeah. yeah th those were the big the shows. Best. The reason I have Roger Capps on my show for the first, actually he's the first guest on the show, is because he was actually involved in, in the MTV, um, you were one of the first people on MTV to be interviewed, but you mm -hmm. wanted to clarify something, he wants to clarify, he wasn't exactly the first person, but you want to clarify, because you're a guitarist, famous guitarist, right? Yes, the way it worked was the show opened with the Muggles doing Video Kill the Radio Star. Mm -hmm. And that's their theme song. The first real act, not that the Muggles aren't a real act, was our band. That was the name of the group, right? The Muggles, yes. The Muggles. And they did uh, Video Kill the Radio Star. And our band, Pat Benatar band, we played You Better Run. And that was the first video on there. So statistically and perfectly, the first guitarist on MTV was Neil Giraldo. I was the second bassist, but if you look at it from my point of view, you were the first <laughs> with the platinum the records first. and the world tours. Yes, I was the first bass player. We were the first band on MTV. Just to bring you into perspective of, of who Roger Capps is, I mean, you've been very, very famous, and your name is still around. It's still out there, but obviously you've kind of wheedled down a little bit now. Give us a little sort of insight of, you know, you had a, another one, woman that we used to sing with you, Pat, and, and you've got a whole story going on. Yes, before MTV, Pat Benatar and I have been working together since 1974 in Richmond, Virginia. And I sat in at a jam session one Sunday, and they called me the next Wednesday to come sit in again because their bass player disappeared. And I was packed, ready to go home to Knoxville, Tennessee. But I took the call and I said, of course, I'd be glad to come in and play. And by the end of the second set, I was hired permanently, and that's when we really started. Was that, that. How old were you then? Uh, let's see, what time is it now? I think <laughs> I think I was around 36 or so. 36, yeah. Yeah. young kid, young kid. Yeah, I had a big chunk of life behind me, and I was good at what I did. I knew music very well, and I was a good bass player. What was your, what was your top record that came out? You, you, you obviously had number ones. Did you have number ones? Um, no number one albums, but we had multi-platinum on all the records. Multi-platinum, wow. And, uh, and that, that means each platinum means one million in sales. So uh, we did well here, Canada, and in, uh, in the whole European area. I was going to say, what about Europe? In Europe, we went on tour there three times and were very well received. But every time I think of Europe, I think of our first performance in London where we played like we'd just been touring in, in America. And people are supposed to clap and scream at some point in the show. <laughs> the British probably didn't the do The British that. sat. But well, we have to wait for our like, time. Was you know, very we, good. We're very polite. We do <laughs> and I thought we were bombing. And so finally, at the end, <laughs> just before the encore, they went crazy. And it was explained to us that British courtesy. Well, we don't clap until we're so, Yeah, we're not supposed to clap until we're supposed to clap. But we all kind of wait. So I wish I'd known that before. <laughs> I wish, I wish I'd been there to tell you what it was all about. You know, we played another gig in Nice. And in that one, the record company in, that part, in, in, in France misadvertises as we had a song called Rated X. So Rated, Ra X? Rated X singer Pat Benatar is performing at this place in Nice. 
and it was not good. The kids lined the front of the, the stage and they were making lewd gestures with their hands. Guess what we're finding out from Roger is that going to Europe it was not a great experience. So you were furious. probably very happy to come back to the United States. <laughs> well, that show ended up audience being wiped out with guard dogs and machine guns, they emptied the whole show. Sounds we like a were total ready disaster. to go let's home. Talk, let's talk about something better than that. So, uh, what has yeah. been your, your sort of your, your number one hits or the, the number one songs that you've actually done in America? Hit me with your best shot is the most recognized song. It was uh, you know a tough girl not taking any guff from the boyfriend, and a lot of Pat songs are about things like that for a young woman to stand up for herself, and that became very oh, popular. Oh, that would have become very popular for women. Very because, popular. You know, women have always been trying to get this message out that, you know, we're just as important as men. We're, they're trying to tell guys. Yeah, and guys <laughs> don't want to know. We don't have that. <laughs> um, there's, Love is a Battlefield is my favorite bass line track of all we did. Beautiful song. And uh, I'm really pr proud of that particular line. Are we going to hear a little song? I see you got your guitar with you. I'm going to make a little noise. He's going to make a little noise for us. This used to be a four string acoustic bass. And, and you made also, it into an eight it's string. It's also electric. I decided I have fun on Facebook. So I took a drill and cut new holes. How to throw the guitar. And did the whole thing <laughs> in one day on Facebook. With, and everybody's commenting, it's going to take you three or four days. And this is just like I did it that day. And it. <laughs> It plays right. great. It plays keep, just keep fine. Going. Keep going. I was just getting in the swing of it oh, then. The first song on MTV. That You Better Run by the Rascals. You better run by the Rascals. Well, yeah. I'm not a singer. <laughs> <laughs> that was so <laughs> close. Was that close? Were I getting it close then? We had, we had several hits. We've gone up to 12 and 17 on the Billboard charts during. Uh, the time I worked with Pat was from 1974 to 1984. 20 oh. years you were together. Yes. That's amazing. 10 years we worked together. That's amazing. And uh, they've always been very gen generous with me. They put uh, my song on the flip side of all their 45. And now is Pat still involved in, is she still out there? Or is she She's touring in? every year. She told me that as long as people come to her shows, she will, she will perform. Keep and they still come, she sells out all the time. I got to see them three times this year. I got to sit in and play with them for the first time last year, July 23rd. And that was just a miracle, the best. And it was the first no, time I ever playing. played yeah. Love is the Battlefield live since the studio. Wow. So that was that was treat. exciting for mm -hmm. you. So are you playing now or are you doing any, any gigs I'm now? I'm working on projects right now. There's a a consortium of a few musicians. Uh, Greg Wright, is, I've been playing with him for 30 years. He was the lead guitarist on the Jackson's Victory Tour. They hired him because he could play the Eddie Van Halen solo. And he toured with the Jacksons and worked with Michael for several years, I'd say probably 10 or 11, where he would go in and do studio tracks. Oh, amazing. On the drums, we have Matt Sorum, who's with Guns N' Roses. So we all these big names out there, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, the funny thing about Guns N' Roses is that we had gigs booked. We couldn't find Matt. He was gone. So we got another <clears throat> drummer, Greg and I. We had a trio. Come to find out, he took the gig for millions of dollars with Guns N' Roses. What are you going to do? Well, he's going to go where the money is. And he's, anyway, you know, he's so we're getting back together. Oh, and, you are? That's amazing. Yes, we're getting that back together. We're working on a tour next year. And... Depending on Greg's schedule, my schedule, and Matt's schedule, when can we get the others the same so time? A, yeah, a matter of trying to get you all together. Is yeah. that really hard to do? Because I would, it's I would have really thought it hard. wouldn't be hard. I would have thought you would have all been excited if to come back together. If you don't have a job, oh, we're very excited. Yeah, but, but to if get, you don't but, have a job, it's easy to get together. But they all have jobs. But now we've all come up a bit yeah. and in demand, so that makes Well, that's a good up. thing, that's a good thing. Now, oh, I yeah, noticed yeah. that t today, earlier, uh, we were talking to a gentleman called Aaron. Oh, my friend and, and Aaron Jack. Aaron Jack. Let me tell you about Catch a Rising Star in New York City. When well, I, no, went I want to, to bring York, him on, he's, he's floating around the studio here somewhere. I don't know where Aaron is. I mean, if he's, 
Where is Aaron? Aaron, yes, are you going to come on in? Yes, come, come on, in. I have to let you know this show, Vegas Live, is like one of these shows that we, we kind of bring people in and say, here he comes. Hey, here he comes. Um, I can't do that. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you, Good. Aaron? Good. I, I was, Lean on. Nice, nice to meet yeah. you. And we were talking about earlier, and you were a singer in the Catskills and New York oh, and all yeah. over the place. And yeah. I'm, so, still, I'm still saying I'm doing studio stuff now. You're doing studio yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. now. I've played 200 times. <laughs> really? Mm hmm Yeah. Well, we would do a show every night at Catch a Rising Star, who was Pat's manager at the time. And uh, they have singers because you would have two or three comedians and then break it up with some music. Of course. Two or three comedians. Of course. And so we got to play every night. So you got to play. And you got usually to sing. usually open well, the show. Singer, you know, it was strange because on, on Saturday night shows, there was two singers and the whistle comics that I opened the show and another man closed the show with, with music. It was, it was That's on comedy. the weekend. Yeah, yeah it was it's, different. it's basically a comedy club, Jets Rising Star. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they picked certain people that they Normally like. they have a comedy first and then the singers. No, no, no. When, when the yeah. singer is somebody famous and that's the star yeah. act, yeah. yeah, they'll open. Yeah. You know, like comedy. Buddy Hackett used to do Oh, yeah, Buddy Hackett. Buddy Hackett. Right. all of those. So but, are you but singing there, Aaron? Yeah, I'm singing. I'm doing studio stuff now. I'm doing my studio oh, works. You no, know, I'm not singing as much as I used to sing. Well, you said you relaxed for a couple of years yeah, and you yeah, sort of yeah, went yeah. out of it and yeah, everything yeah. else. I just told him out in the car that yeah. I'm giving him my resources because I'm coming to Vegas more frequently. <laughs> And I've got just the right guys, and we're going to put a show together for Aaron. And when Aaron does his show, there's so much energy, the audience is on its feet. You bring up, every you bring time. up the energy in everyone. Well, like, yeah. yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> with the memories still got we it. have there, still we, got have, it. we have untapped energy. And when this gets together, it's going to be fantastic. When this chemistry moves. So you just said something really great. You just said you're coming to Vegas more, which means you're bringing the music industry more. You're not doing it in Los Angeles. You're going to be doing it here, which is what we yes. want. We want to bring yeah. the, the music industry back out in Vegas because that's really really where it belongs there's so many and there's also so many people you can choose from do you have a lot of people that are sort of here in vegas that you can choose from as of getting yes, the band together yes i do there's several people to choose from here and some i haven't even met yet vegas understands having live music See? and having that band spot Los Angeles forgot that. Somewhere back well, toward the well, end Los of the Angeles 80s. Los Angeles is more of the film business. Los, Los Angeles is more in the film and they like the to think so. Like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they like to think so. Hollywood. I Hollywood. like it. Hollywood. Hollywood. Sure. Hollywood is film. Hollywood is film. Yeah. Well, Vegas is music. Absolutely. And I think you live, I you live here, right? I live here now, yeah. Now you do. Yeah. So, But you really actually from back east? You're from, We're from back east. Brooklyn. 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 Oh, oh, Brooklyn. Oh, I love New York. Love New York. Right. right. But that's where they have all the, you know, the famous nightclubs oh, and everything. Sure. What was that beach you said you were, uh, uh, you would go to, uh, and the music that came from that area? There was a lot of doo-wop, you know, that's why the East Coast, yeah, yeah, there was Brighton, like, Brighton Beach, was it? Brighton Beach, they Brighton. Oh, they Brighton won. Beach. It, it was kind of a bunch of uh, artists there that came from Hamilton, then they were gone. You know, yeah. it, it was they came and went rather yeah, fast. Rather fast. Yeah, you know? yeah. Big more. turnover. Well, that's like they're still today the same thing. They say have a big turnover. You come in, you see them one time, and then they go out. On that, we're going to take a break. I'm Ninon from Vegas Live, and of course we've had a fabulous time with Aaron and a great time with Roger. And we found yeah. out a little bit of what went back in those days, but they're now going to bring it back to Vegas. We'll be right back. <laughs> 